What's up guys, this is Coach Donnie from Elevate Yourself. I am here in sunny San Diego for our very first tournament of the 2024 season, which is the VLA Western Cup. Actually, I'm technically not in San Diego. I'm in Del Mar, which is a neighboring town. It's a beautiful beach town here and weather is great. And I just got to the hotel and we gotta make sure the hotel rooms are nice. So let's take a tour. Welcome to the Hilton. Always traveling in my Bruce Lee gear outfit. We represent. Look how spacious this room is. Double queen beds, really clean. Now the bathroom is always the most important. Got a bathtub for nighttime. Gotta show off Bruce Lee again. Not much of a view, but that's okay. Feels good to finally get settled in. Had an early start to the day and just landed at around 1.30, but then it took about 45 minutes to get from the airport to the hotel. The fun part about this year is that we have more sponsors than last year, which means we get some of our travel and hotel costs covered, which means we don't have the Uber everywhere and we actually can have a team car that I was able to rent. And that was a really fun process trying to choose a car that's suitable for our team. Usually I just find the cheapest sedan, but we got a lot of big boys, six foot five to six foot seven inches tall. So I had to choose a full size SUV. And I gotta say, the 4Runner has always caught my eye even when I was a kid. It's a classic car. So I had to go with the 4Runner with the black trim. It looked pretty sick. Also for this year, we have a few new team members and I can't wait for you to meet them tomorrow when we start the tournament. I'm super hungry, so I'm gonna probably find some food and do some work until everyone flies in. It is 6 p.m. Starting to get hungry and look who just landed in to Del Mar, Anthony, our monster middle, also known as the Predator. And we're both craving sushi, so we found a place close by. What a surprise. Course number one, miso soup, my favorite. A lot of mushroom in here. Mm, not too salty, good miso flavor, some green onion depth. We got the yellowtail tuna salmon sashimi. This is their Del Mar roll. It has crab, avocado, cucumber, crunchy stuff on top and salmon. Gotta have my white rice. Oyster shooters, cause this is happy hour and shrimp and vegetable tempura. So a lot of this stuff is happy hour prices, otherwise I wouldn't have spent all this <laughs> money on all this food, but let's see how it tastes. See how the sashimi is. Mm. It's pretty good quality. It has a sweet flavor, which means it's fresh, not very fishy. The roll. That's impressive. I thought it was gonna be overly fried, and wouldn't be able to taste any fish, but you can definitely taste the fish and the crab. So Anthony got the karaage. What's the verdict? Uh, honestly, it's really, really good. Like super crispy. The pairs really well with the spicy mayo. Okay, yeah, spicy it's mayo. Delicious. Hits the spot. Ooh, and another roll there. Dynamite roll. Thank you. Look at that. Salmon collar just came in. The temper is actually a little bit on the salty side. How's the fried rice, Anthony? Oh, it's really, really good. It is good, huh? Okay. After a big meal, time to stock up on some snacks and drinks for tomorrow. First start off by getting some protein shakes. So if you guys watched my previous vlogs, I usually get a bunch of Gatorades or Powerades for my electrolyte drink. But for this trip, just to save some space in my suitcase and also when I actually go to the tournament, I decided to bring a water bottle with a bunch of liquid IV packets that I can throw in there. So we're gonna see how that goes this tournament. So just gonna get mostly snacks and protein shakes for tomorrow. And I love me some Canada Dry, nice and crispy at night. All these temptations. Now this is what I'm talking about. You guys know how much I love my sour candies. I'm feeling some sour tape. Yeah. And as always, Snickers for my go-to emergency energy mid-game. Ah, that felt good just to take a shower and relax. And every time I get off plane rides, I always feel a little dirty just being in a crowded space where hundreds of thousands of people have sat. 
just feeling kind of greasy. So I always look forward to taking that first shower. And after I shower, one of the favorite things I like to do is to foam roll, to self-massage, to stretch. If your body already gets relaxed from the shower and then also there's increased blood flow just from the hot water. So I like to take about 30 minutes just to loosen up my body. And my hip right around here has been feeling just a little bit tight and I need to really work through that. My forearm right here also feels tight. So looking forward to using the lacrosse ball and the hypervolt to really knead out those areas. But it's a great way to loosen up from the plane ride, but just to allow your body to be fully mobile and fully functional for the tournament tomorrow. And then after that, we got our team meeting and hopefully get an early night's rest because I'm exhausted. Calf and then the hip. those sessions even though it does take a lot of time to really work through all the tight areas and, and it's not always very fun and oftentimes it's actually pretty painful but it's so worth it because if you want to play for a long time at a high level you need to take care of your body and it's about what you do off the court that matters more actually than what you do on the court and now we get to finish our cool down with a cold fizzy drink one of the best. One thing I like to do before the first day of the tournament is to lay all my stuff on the beds to make sure I'm not missing anything. So we got our first jerseys tomorrow, the green on top with the black bottom. Shout out to All Volleyball for hooking our team up with the amazing custom fuse jerseys. You'll get to see all three colors this weekend. And we have our Go Sleeves. I'm gonna be wearing the white knee sleeves. This is their recent release color. And if I'm feeling a little extra cold and need some extra support, I might throw on the calf sleeves, but at the minimum it's gonna be the knee sleeves. Shout out to Go Sleeves for hooking our team up with their compression sleeve technology. We've got our warm up long sleeve from Moreau Catholic Volleyball, which is where I coach. Backpack with shoes inside and tripod. And this year I've been trying out the liquid IV and like I said earlier instead of buying a bunch of Gatorade I brought one reusable water bottle I'm going to refill this up and put some liquid IV there we've got our wide array of snacks we're going to bring tomorrow as well so if you guys remember from last year's VLA Western Cup it was not good we only came with seven people and I badly injured my ankle right before that tournament I think two weeks before that tournament so I was hobbling around as libero and it was just a very frustrating tournament unfortunately but I know this year is going to be a lot better we brought more people I'm healthy our team's a little bit stronger this year so I'm just excited to get some redemption from last year so it's already 1054 1054 now it's time to go to sleep because we got to wake up at 5.45, get out of here, get some breakfast, and get on the court by 7.15 a.m. We'll see you then. Finally made it to the wave facility. As you can see, it's an awesome volleyball facility with beach courts and indoor courts and it's super clean. Here it's 7-11. Get a good, nice, long warm up. We're playing, I think the top seed, the team that won it last year. So it should be a very good match in the first game. I can't wait for you to meet some of the new members of our tall ones this year. Time to put on the go sleeves.
That was a tough loss. I mean, Riptide, they took the whole thing last year. They're a really solid team, but we had, I would say the first and the third set, we had a chance to, to take those away. We just couldn't finish. Passing struggles in that first one. I'll be honest, this, I'm still having trouble adjusting to this ball. It's like, it just moves a lot more than the Fisa Tech. So I gotta really focus on tracking it better. Felt a little better with my passing towards the end, but I feel bad for our setter, because you know when you start a game where you're moving the setter around too much, it's hard for them to get into a rhythm. But first game, um, usually we've been playing with Derek, if you guys have been following our games, uh, but Derek couldn't make it, so luckily we had Tien, um, who lives in Southern California, who was able to play with us. So really that first game, just building connection. I thought he did a really good job getting our middles established. And we we're finally in rhythm towards that third set, able to fight a little bit more. And hopefully we can continue that trend through the rest of the day. I'm just blown away at how awesome this facility is. And we got the, the mini courts over there. Hawaiian style outrigger. One thing I was missing last game was my chewing gum, and I love playing with mint gum because you just, my mouth gets so hot when I play. So I didn't feel as fresh, so I got that, and I've just been on like a diet soda craze. It just feels so crisp and refreshing without the sugar, and I know aspartame might not be the best for you. The jury's still out in terms of the case studies, but uh, it's gonna make me feel good, cool down inside. So. One cool thing about coming to Volleyball events is you get to meet other vendors and we got some sick clothing here. I just want to introduce. This is Lost Traveler Co. My name is Josh. I'm the owner and founder. Uh, we sell all types of volleyball apparel uh, from socks to towels to t-shirts to tank tops to jerseys. We got your shorts. We got backpacks, sweatshirts. You name it, we got it. All right, where can people find you? Uh, LostTravelerCo.com. All right, so check them out. Really sick gear. Home. Hooray! I was streaming this on the YouTube channel. Shout out to Rob St. Clair for the awesome announcing. Man, that game was rough. It was nice to take a set. We're finally getting rhythm, and then we just got really flat. We struggled to put a ball away. Um, our passing was pretty solid, but man, our, we just played with super low energy. And it's only the second match of the day, so fatigue shouldn't be too much of a factor. Jason was playing awesome, but one man can't carry the team, so I feel like I need to step up my game too. Serving was off, passing was good. Hitting, I just didn't really feel the rhythm, and I just I need to give Jason some support, and hopefully we can play better the third match. We got one more today, and we're gonna give Brant a rest, so I'll be playing the barrel for the third match of the day. And Brant got us some Chipotle. 
Thanks, Grant. That Chipotle hit the spot. Exhausted, but it's only 624, which is a good thing. Time for dinner, and this is, as you guys know from all my vlogs, half the enjoyment of these travels is just eating tons of food because when you're burning this many calories, you just go crazy. Or at least I go crazy. You guys saw how much Japanese food I ate last night, so I'm gonna go around two, burn it off, or poop it out. Either one. 5% chance of six. So the wait at the Italian food place was over 30 minutes, so we're gonna go to Shake Shack now. Can you smell the burgers through the video? Got a hot dog, dragon fruit, pomegranate drink, and the double cheeseburger. Let's do the test. Ooh. That's yummy. Hot dog time. That's pretty good. But the burger is on fire. So that burger was so good and I'm so hungry that I decided to get another double cheeseburger. This is round two. You gotta get something else? Mm, need my protein. I've been craving that ice cream all day and it's time to get it. This looks really interesting. Double caramel and 44% cacao with some milk chocolate. Alright, now it's time for the taste test. Well, that's actually pretty good. A little bit too sweet for me, but luckily the bar's not too big. I probably ate close to 4,000 calories today. I think playing three volleyball matches, I just feel like my, my internal is on fire, like I'm burning from the inside. So that's why I gotta eat so much food to recharge for tomorrow. I'm gonna enjoy another crispy, cold diet ginger ale. Right now it is 9.30. It's actually not too bad because tomorrow uh, we're refing at 9, so we get to sleep in a little bit, and then we're playing hopefully 10.30 if things don't run behind. But I think we have a good chance tomorrow, and we play some tough teams today, so tomorrow is going to be a little bit uh, closer matchup in terms of how the teams finished yesterday. So other teams that went 0-3 today, we're going to, I think, play close to them. So we have rooming with Sean, the outside hitter, so I want to give him a chance to talk about how the day went. Yeah, uh, so this is my first BLA tournament, and I think almost half of our team hasn't played together before. Some of us have played, and at least for me, first tournament, trying to trying to get the ry a rhythm was kind of interesting early on. So the, the whole first game was just a lot of ups and downs, but um, once we kind of got our feet wet, it was pretty good after that. And new, new setters always, always take some time to get used to. Lots of really good competition. It was fun to kind of go through the fire with certain people too and um, go through all the ups and downs of the day and um, having two hour breaks and having to warm back up again was just kind of like the good old days again so it's always kind of fun to compete it's nice to just relax at the end of the day and get ready for tomorrow as well so nice. good experience I'm ready to go to sleep pretty soon <laughs> so it was a good time cool thanks Sean so Sean's our new official other outside and it's been great having him. You crushed a, a big today. You've been calling it all yeah, morning and you crushed it. It's my favorite set. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love hitting it. 
Yeah. So yeah, I mean, kind of like what uh, Sean said, none of us have played with Tian before. So it, was, it just took some time for us to get connected. But once he was able to dial in, I think we felt a lot of better with him. And we're, you know, our goal is just to get better with each game and hopefully peak for tomorrow. You know, I was struggling to get used to the ball. The Mikasa moves a little differently. So felt my passing got better finally in set two, but my hitting didn't feel good. Like this whole tournament, my rhythm has kind of been, my serving has actually been out of rhythm. I think the roof has been messy with my head because it's a little lower on one side. But the way it rolls off my fingertips feels very different than the fleece attack. So I just need to really work on that in my warm up um, tomorrow because I didn't, haven't gotten any aces today and had some untimely service errors that I usually don't make. Uh, but at least that third set, I felt a little bit better with my contact. I was able to put more heat on the ball. I felt like the first two sets, I was trying to swing hard, but it just wasn't really contacting the ball well. So I wasn't, just felt like I was hitting at 60%. So looking forward to those things being dialed in a little bit more fine tuned tomorrow. And we're gonna get some more rest. We'll see you guys tomorrow.